okay so i will be showing you this online banking uh website sleek very mobile responsive you can check it on your mobile phone very very responsive and very 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 cool so as you can see it has a lot of pages so let's go to the drop down menu so see the drop down menu uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of pages a lot of pages you can see that and all of these pages are working perfectly well all of the pages are loading perfectly well and working perfectly well so let me go to money market account so you can see everything so you can see that correct account so it's very sleek and comes with language can you see that it comes with a language translator uh, live chat available and um, online banking so as you can see this is very very uh, awesome so let's just go into how to um, uh, register on this site uh, create an account on this site log into the account then um, how admin is going to approve the account create um, uh, um, create uh, account number and user login and then make uh, transfer so this um, system has three transfer code uh, cut code imf code and um, task code right cut code imf code and task code then also have what pin authentication so as you can see the very very slick website so let's create account on this site and see how it works so i just go to online market and click on this so it's going to take me to uh, this place here. So we're going to click on open account. Can you see that? So we're going to click on open account. So open account. So let me see. Uh, so this is an account. So let's open account. So. So uh, service account, uh, dollar account. So you can decide to upload uh, uh, any 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 image just to see how uh, it works. So let me just um, so, so let me put this image. So you put address. So you accept, then you click on submit. Can you see that? So your account manager will contact you once your account is approved. So you click on OK. Account has been created. Can you see that? So account has been created. So now the next thing is admin is going to see this account that has been created. So let's go back to the admin end. So this is the admin end. So uh, when admin come to pending account, any account that is created will go to pending account as you can see here. So admin will just click on this here to uh, edit the account. So if that account comes up. So all admin needs to do is to uh, create an account number for this person. So 10 digit. 10 digit account number so uh, pend it then admin click on activate it if you don't want to activate it reject or uh, error you can just leave it there but let's activate it so pin 1234 cut1234 that's 1234 imf1234 so just four digit code right so this is the account number so we need the account number to log in so let me just Take this account number right here. So we're going to save that. So admin is going to create that account. So that account has been created, right? So let's click on this one one more time to edit the account. So you scroll down here and um, uh, under new, you see that you change it to what active. So if you want to block the account, you can click on this. The account will be blocked. So the person will no longer be able to use the account. And you can come and say, don't match suspended. And, you know anything you put there you know, the account will be suspended but let's just activate that account so you can see that, that account has been activated so you can see the back end is very very slick and simple so the next thing you're going to do is to create that account so click on credit account so you click on this edit button can you see that so uh, current balance let's say forty thousand dollars
So you put the date of transaction. So you put the date of transaction, right? So this account has been funded. So click on OK. So see that the account has now been funded, right? So let's go back to the um, user end again, right? So from the user end, click on online banking again once more. Then you need this account number to log in. Can you see that? The, and the password. So let's accept and click on sign in. So click on sign in. So if everything goes down where so the account will be signed in. So as you can see, so you can see the passport that we uploaded, and you can see the amount that um had been put. You can see the transaction details. Can you see that? So you can go to account statement. So if you go to account statement, you can see uh, uh the account statement. So as you begin to uh, uh perform uh, accounts you know perform transaction of all show here so if you go to account details you also see the account details you can see that the account details so let's go to phone transfer see how the phone transfer work it's seamless and very very slick so let's go to phone transfer so let's say you want to transfer customer account bank name let's say you want to transfer to boa then branch let me see new york cd all right so swift code can be any code then account name holder, let's say, right, account number, so it will be 10 digit number. See that, so how much are you transferring, let's say, $12,000, can you see that? So you click on agree to do the online banking, then you click on transfer. Awesome, can you see that? So it's going to pop up. Um, the information that you enter and ask you if you are okay. So yes, so now you have to enter your PIN and click on what transfer. So if everything goes well and the PIN is correct, it's going to start. It's going to initiate the transfer process, right? Awesome, can you see that? So it's enter you to enter a COT code, right? So enter the COT code I created. Then you agree. Then you click on verify. So you can use that. So it's going to initiate if the code is correct. Check and see what the code it is. If it's correct, can you see that? So if that end good, ask you to enter the task code. If you verify again, if it's true. So if it's correct, okay, it's going to initiate the transfer. If it's not correct, it's going to deny it. So let's. Can you see that? Awesome. So it's going to enter the IMF code again. So you can see, please wait, verifying IMF code details and that. So if everything looks good, it's going to complete that transaction for you. Can you see that? Transfer successful. Can you see that? So just what was going to happen again, it's going to redirect you. Can you see that? It's really, really a slick system. Can you see that? Can you see that? $12,000 have been what? You know, paid out. Can you see that? $12,000 have been what? Paid out. It's a very, very robust system, All right? So that's just how this works, and you can control it from admin end, and you can, you know, block whatever you want to block from the admin end. All right, guys, so you can see that this script is very, very sleek, beautiful, and good, right? So I'll be giving you access to the back end and the front end of the script. So this is the back end, this is the admin end, and this is the front end. Everything I'll be giving you access to this script, right? I'll be giving you access to everything on this script, right? So all you have to do, if you need this script, all you have to do is to pay thirty-five thousand naira, right? Thirty-five thousand naira. If you need this script, you have to pay thirty-five thousand naira. We give you access to the back end, access to the front end, you access to the database, and give access to the admin. So the script will be yours forever. You can use it as many times as you want to use it, right? 
You can upload the script as many times as you want to use it. As you can see, the script is very, very slick. And for international clients, this script is going to be sold for $70. So if you're an international client, if you're buying the script from any part of this world, it's $70. But if you're buying the script from Nigeria, it's sold for 35000 naira, right? So you can see that this everything is very, very slick. You can check this on your mobile phone. You can see that it's very, very very slick so that will be all for this tutorial because i want this tutorial to be very very short and when you get access to this script you are going to see you know um, um, um a short um, tutorial on how you can install the script in less than 20 minutes you can install this script as you can see this is an html script can you see that right it's an html and php script so in less than 20 minutes you upload the script to your c panel and you install the script. So I always like to recommend when you want to run script like this that you should use Namecheap because they are very, very good and you know their system, you know, is uh, their their software, you know, their CPanel software allows you to run sophisticated script like this. So guys, go ahead and start getting the script. It's not going to be 35k or um, um, 70 dollars for a very long time. It's just for a short time. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the inside.